Okay, so welcome back to Lab Cyber. And first of all, let me apologize for the poorly edited video for the rough uh, background, the poor sound. I just moved to a brand new apartment. I haven't built out my studio yet. I didn't even expect to make videos yet, but as you're no doubt aware, there's been a massive IT issue across the world and I felt compelled to make this video. Now, if this is the first time you're finding out about this channel, welcome to Lab Cyber. My name is Alex. I talk about videos around cybersecurity and tech. So welcome. If you do enjoy videos like this, be sure to subscribe. So what exactly? happened yesterday. Now, the issue involved a Texas-based company called CrowdStrike. Now, CrowdStrike, they are a cybersecurity company. They make cybersecurity software that businesses all across the world use to protect their systems from cyber attacks. Now, their flagship software called Falcon, it's used by hotels, airlines, shopping malls, payment gateways, and so on. They released a brand new update for they are Falcon software. So th think of CrowdStrike like Adobe, right? Adobe, they have Adobe After Effects, Adobe Photoshop, and then Adobe releases a new update for Photoshop. So something like that, right? The problem here is that the update that they released had some bugs. It had some errors in the code. So when that update was filtered out onto the internet, all the systems where Falcon is already installed on, they automatically downloaded that bogus update, that update with the problems, and it ended up crashing the systems as a result. In fact, the much dreaded blue screen of death. If you've been around uh, computers as long as I've been for the past 30 years or so, the blue screen of death is one of the most feared screens that you can see on your computer. Basically, what that means is that your computer is unable to boot the pro to uh, com to complete the boot process. So your system is never gonna fully completely uh, boot up, and you will never be able to do anything. So that's what ended up crashing systems all across the world, airlines and hotels and shopping malls. This bogus update, this poorly patched update sent from CrowdStrike. So the biggest issue right now is that businesses, the reason why this was such like a, a massive issue is because what most IT departments across the world do, especially like in big businesses and big companies, what they do is that they set their systems to download updates automatically. This of course saves them time. They don't have to go to each system manually and then run the update. So what they do is that they simply set their systems to run the updates automatically. But as you can see, this isn't always the best solution because once the update is faulty, it can end up crashing the systems, and that's exactly what happened. So just on a side note, how to avoid these kinds of issues moving forward? Well, you can. what you can do is to simply create like a virtual network where you will have virtual machines that are exactly like the type used in your company, in your business, and then once the new update comes in, you can run that update on the virtual machines and test yourself and see. So it's kind of like you verifying that the parent company, they've actually done the job making sure that the update that they've released is actually legit and is error free. All these businesses, they trusted CrowdStrike to do their own testing. But as you can see right now, somebody at CrowdStrike messed up or maybe a group of people messed up. They released a faulty update and that's what ended up uh, crashing all the systems uh, worldwide. So that's basically it. It's not a cybersecurity uh, hack. I know uh, a cyber uh, hack rather. I know a lot of people have been sent it because CrowdStrike is a cybersecurity company. So they were thinking maybe this glitch was as a result of like a cyber attack or something like that. No, no cyber attacks involved in here. It's simply a uh, bad update that was released by CrowdStrike. So that's basically it. Once again, I do apologize for the poorly edited video, but I felt compelled to quickly make this video and rush it out so that you guys can understand what exactly happened. If you have any questions or comments, of course, feel free to put them down in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them as soon as I can. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.